Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the mid-February 2023 reading for our Sagittarians, okay? So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Sagittarius, then this reading is for Jewel, all right? Let us go ahead, get into the reading, y'all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you all on today. Ooh, okay, what are you? We have the Tower card here in reverse, okay? So we could possibly be avoiding some changes here, all right? Some changes that pertain to the direction we should be going in, okay? Decisions we should be making, major decisions, okay? Two of Swords energy here is the underlining. So some of us know better but choose to do whatever we want to do, you know, that's just who we are we're human beings we could know better and still do something else all right so that's what spirit is bringing up here with temperance in reverse i feel like we've thrown something off or we feel like we have maybe okay i don't think you should be being so hard on yourself but that's the energy that i'm picking up here from you okay but let us see let us see y'all for our sagittarians what do we have we have the full card in reverse okay so yeah you feel like you did something that maybe you shouldn't have done three major arcanas already so this is a major deal in your life something huge okay magician so once again another major arcana but with all of this though i'm getting you can still transmute it and make it into something beautiful i'm still getting that you can have a brand new beginning i'm still getting that you can change things around anytime we see the tower that's like a warning or spirit stepping in and saying hey i know you're aware of what adjustments need to be made all we need you to do is make them all right it's just that simple so don't be so hard on yourself in advance before you even go ahead and make the changes do what spirit is guiding you to do first then see the results be satisfied you know, I feel like this, you know, it sounds easy. And then as human beings, we make things complicated. But that's what I'm here to do. Give you the insight so you can see. See, chariot. <laughs> All you got to do is follow what you feel intuitively guided to feel uh, to follow. All right. Some of you could have just recently got some bad news here. I just saw the princess of wands in reverse. Okay, let us see. Hmm. Temperance. See, you can turn it around. Temperance flipped itself into the upright position where we literally just saw this card in reverse. See what I'm saying? All right, so let us continue for our Sagittarians. What else here, Spirit? Sagittarius, okay. We have the Three of Swords. Whatever this was that happened or whatever this is that Spirit is bringing up right now and, you know, we're speaking on, it was very heartbreaking or it caused you a lot of pain, okay, for sure. All right, however, a lesson indeed. Could have been something dealing with a relationship, okay? Now, the thing about this relationship is something that you don't feel is 1,000% secure or solid. This could be something that's in and out or you feel is very temporary or it's like giving love affair. You know what I mean? It's giving love affair because the knight is out here on a mission. On a mission of what? A mission of love. But he is handing that cup off to people until he finds that love. You understand? Take the sex out of it. I'm just saying in regards to the card, right? So let us see for our Sagittarians. We have the five of cups. This could be something that you already experienced or learned in the past. It's presenting itself to you again. Two of swords energy once again in the upright. So you see that this lesson is presenting itself and that it's the time for you to end something. I say that because this card always makes me think of like a sunset. When I think of sunset, I think of an ending. You get what I'm saying? The end of the day. You get what I'm saying? Or the day is waning. Okay? It's going away. So that's what I'm getting here. Okay, Ten of Cups energy in reverse. Some of you could have really wanted something secure with this person. With the Knight of Swords here, you could just be accepting the harsh reality that maybe you won't get it with this individual. You feel really, really confused right now, uncertain about where you stand with this person, you know. But it could be, like I said, because they're they're given player, you know, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. They're given player, okay. And I feel like this is just a truth that you have accepted. For a lot of you, this person could have also told you this about themselves respect it you get what i'm saying if somebody comes to you and they say hey yeah i do care about you but i'm out here in these streets at least they told you you get what i'm saying so now it's up to you as to whether you want to deal with that person or not you know what do you want to do with the princess of cups in reverse clearly you're unsure of what to do we already knew that with the two of swords and because it's coming out in the reading if you knew what to do it wouldn't be coming out we have the nine of swords all right so let us get you the clarity love bug let us see yeah king of cups in reverse this person they have love for you you get what i'm saying but okay the love that we would be seeking to be in a relationship with someone right it's not that type of love okay 
So what you need is something that's reciprocal, okay? Thank you, Spirit, for finding the words for me because sometimes you just don't want to say certain things, you know what I mean? If you're already in the Three of Swords energy, you don't want to cause more pain, you know what I mean? Insult to injury and everything. No, we're not going to do that, right? The whole point is to find healing here and to get you to overcome this struggle, overcome this challenge, you know, get over this hump here. Yes, it's a separation. It's a breakup. It's something that, like I said, a lot of you are probably crying or have cried over this. It has brought you a lot of tears, a lot of sadness. And, you know, because you know that this is something you're going to have to end. You know what I mean? The sun is setting on this relationship. Okay. So let us see. Yeah. The Ten of Wands. It's a burden. Okay. But it's a burden that is almost over. Okay. It's almost over. Notice that imagery there. Thank you. Same thing here. All right. But it was in reverse. You were chasing something. Didn't quite get it. Okay. You made a mistake. It's okay. The interesting thing about the Fool card, this talks about the Fool's journey, right? Going on a journey of self-discovery. That's the, the stage to make mistakes. That's when it's okay to make mistakes. Trial and error. Okay. Trial and error. It's all right. Let's get up. Let's dust them shoulders off. You know what I'm saying? And get back to it. That's it. All right, so let's get back to it. Ten of Wands is, you know, almost the end, almost complete, almost finished. All right, so Queen of Swords here, head over heart decision. Keep moving forward. You know what must be done. Simply do it. All right, that's it. Let us see what we have here. Truth being revealed to you. You already knew this, though. It's not really being revealed. Four of uh, Pentacles. Some of you might be afraid this person is going to hold a grudge against you or hate you forever if you speak your truth. Let me tell you something. Uh, they would hate you even more if you were to stay with them or to deal with them and, and eventually resent them because you know that's not really where you want to be. Because you know they don't love you the way that you deserve to be loved. Or maybe they love you with everything they got, but it's not good enough. You get what I'm saying? It's something here about that King of Cups in reverse. And we're about to see. All right. So let us see with the Star card in reverse, the Tower in reverse for our Sagittarians. Oh, my leaves are falling. <laughs> my leaves are falling off the roses. All right, so let us see. The star card in reverse and the tower in reverse. All right. We have the seven of swords in reverse. See, so this is the truth being revealed coming out to you here. Harsh truth that if you wanted to build something with this person, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, they're not the person for it. They're never going to fight for you or stand up for what it is that you deserve. You get what I'm saying? They're never going to give you that. So, you, you know, um, I always think about Mulan, right? A girl we're fighting for. Everybody wants to feel like they're that girl in somebody's life. And if this person is not going to do that for you, then eh, you know what I mean? It's somebody out there that's going to fight for you, that's going to stand up for you, that's going to, you know. So we have the full card in reverse, the Ace of Cups. See what I'm saying? Out there looking for what it is that your heart truly desires. And it's, it's because you have it within yourself, yes. You get what I'm saying? You have it within yourself. But I feel like Spirit is reminding you that, that that takes priority right now. You get what I'm saying? That takes priority over whatever this situation with this person might be. Okay? To find that within you again. Because I feel like you had it. But maybe some of you could have got distracted, too, by this cup of love that you thought was being offered. You're like, oh, my gosh, it's so full. It's so this, it's so that. Then you get over there and you realize, look at this Knight of Cups cup. It's empty. You know, these artists, the people who illustrated this deck, they could have very well filled this cup as well because it's a cup car. It's a suit. You get what I'm saying? They could have very well did that. They did not. With that being said, you get what I'm saying? This King of Cups, his cup empty. All right, so you get over there, you realize, oh, shoot, I've been deceived. They don't have love for me for real. You get what I'm saying? And that's the unfortunate truth that we're discovering here right now today. Okay? Here, right now, today. Yes, in that order. Everything y'all just heard me say. And I feel like this world card in reverse, this person could be someone from your past, five of cups too, that just doesn't know how to let go, doesn't want to let you go. And so it keeps you in a state of confusion. You're like, well... Okay, they don't let me go, so they must really love me. And then they don't have shit to offer you. See what I'm saying? I knew the leaves were falling. <laughs> uh, I had these roses for almost a week now. So roses that are cut off of wherever they came from off of the bush usually only last about a week or so. You get what I'm saying? So for this to be the first leaf to fall, I would say they're holding up pretty good. 
Um, I do I do have a couple flowers that opened up and sprouted. They're so beautiful. But back to the point, I wanted to share that high vibration. Did not know roses carry the vibration of love. Love is the highest possible frequency. So I figured I could, you know what I mean? See how that happened right there like that? See what I'm saying? Your rose out here in these streets. And maybe, you know, a, a rose fell. Okay, now, you know, or a petal fell. Keep it moving. All right, you still got a lot of left to live is what I'm getting with this full card. All right, in this Ace of Cups. This person comes in with their fake offer, leaves you in a state of confusion. You get over there, you're like, oh my God, it's more betrayal. It's more deceit. It's more BS. It's more nonsense. You get what I'm saying? They might be a very intellectual person, King of Swords, whatever they are. Um, smooth talker, I definitely feel with the King of Swords. If they're not a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person, then this person is for sure a smooth talker. Somebody that knows what to say, when to say it, how to say it, honey. So you're going to be like, ooh. And I feel like you're the same way. You know what to say, when to say, how to say it. And so maybe that's what you like about them. They could also, just like I said, be an extremely intellectual person. They have great conversation and you love that about them. So when it comes to like challenging you in that regard or in that essence, challenging you intellectually, they're able to do that. They're able to stimulate your mind. All right, stimulate your mental. They do it for you in that way. Um, but yeah, let us see the temperance here. All right. The hangs on in reverse. So spirit is stepping in. Like I said, go ahead, free yourself. Now that you see the situation for what it is, this is favorable news. This is good news. Spirit is saying whatever was made wrong can be made right. So as long as you learn whatever this is here in this karmic lesson, which truth be told from the way that these cards are being read, I can see that you have. All right. So let us get one more on this um, king of cups in reverse. And then we're going to keep it pushing. I don't really feel like we need much clarity here because we already know what's going on. All right, King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, all right. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this person, you know how the Queen of Pentacles is like a nurturer, a mother. Like a, like she can take something, she has Midas touch. Something that is not that great or not that grand and make it into everything. So this person might use, you know, the little love that they have for you to keep you on the hook or something like that is what I'm kind of getting from this. Okay. So this is quite, you know, interesting, but we have the magician here. So like I said, I do feel you being capable and able to get yourself up out of this situation though. You know what I mean? I feel that for sure. All right. But like this is somebody who uh, maybe you guys have been on again, off again with for some time now. Because we do have them showing up as a Knight of Cups. Three of Swords. Alright, give us one for this uh, Knight of Cups and Three of Swords energy. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So you feel like, you know, when this person is down and out or needing somebody to talk to or needing somebody to make them feel better needing somebody to give them love needing somebody to give them compassion that's when they come back you get what i'm saying and for you that is just like okay they've crossed that line way too many times at this point honestly speaking they're not available which is possibly them being out here entertaining other people who knows but with all of this being what it's saying there's a need for you to put this burden down all right so give us more here on this ten of wands spirit please for sagittarius yeah Whew. the princess of swords and it's in reverse so some of you know this or maybe all of you know this all right but maybe you've been that truth all right this is like a cruel truth you know that somebody comes in and out of your life they start this type of disturbance or trouble see what i'm saying five of wands there's no real plan or you know whatever to stay in your life it's just come in leave come in leave it's no real stable secure type offer here all right, so I hope that this helps you. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and heaven.